All right, so here we have one where the calculator is probably going to be mostly useless. Uh, you can see from the answers that although there are decimals, they're pretty friendly. Uh, we are given a graph that has convenient geometric shapes, right? Like it's, it's easy to count the boxes. There are triangles, there are rectangles. Uh, and we are asked to integrate from negative 1, which would be here, right, uh, to 9. But we're not integrating just f of x. We're integrating 3 f of x plus 2. So here's the issue. We need to treat this thing. We can treat it essentially as two separate integrals, right? This plus the integral from 1 to 9 of just a 2, right? Uh, and if I clean this up a little bit, I can make this a 3 times the area that I'm going to be able to find on the graph. Uh, plus, and then this guy's just a 2x evaluated from negative 1 to 9, right? So, so this is going to be the area on the graph, which I'm going to find in a second. And this is, is just going to be a 2x that I'm going to plug in a 9 and plug in a negative 1. So let's find that area on the graph first. So down here, right, this is definitely a negative 3 because it's 3 units uh, in this direction and a negative 1 height, right? So it's a negative 3, right? And then this triangle, right, this triangle would be a negative 1 half because it's negative 1 half uh, the base times the height, right? So the reason it's negative 1 half is because it's below the axis. But there is another way to logically think about that if you want, I suppose. Uh, you could just, just counter it out with this positive piece. Up here, I'm probably just going to do this as one triangle because it seems like the easiest option. It has a height of 2 and a base of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So I think the green area is going to be 1 half base times height, which gives me a positive 6. So I think that that integral from negative 1 to 9 of f of x dx, right, I think that's a negative 3.5 plus a 6, right, because the blue is negative down here and this green was positive. So I think I get a 2.5. Once I know that's a 2.5, right, I know that this answer is a 3 times a 2.5, right, plus this will be an 18 minus a negative 2. So I'm pretty sure that that's a 7.5 plus a 20, and I should get 27.5, right? If I come up here, 27.5 is the answer C, and that's my answer.